Hey guys, welcome back to Bulbasaur Bros TCG. And today we are going to profile and battle with a, our powerhouse Mew deck that features Mew and Shininja from Roaring Skies. Uh, so let's get profiling. We have our main attacker here, which is Mew EX. It is from Legendary Treasures. And the main thing we'll be focusing on here is Versatile. Versatile allows this Pokemon can use the attacks of any Pokemon in play, both yours and opponents. Mew will want to take either Taurus's attack or Shininja's attack, and we'll be mainly fo focusing on Shininja. Shininja can Hopeless Scream. Hopeless Scream hits for 50 times damage counters on that Pokemon. And since the Shininja has very low HP, as shown by the 30 there, uh, the Mew, with 120 HP, will be able to do far more damage, with up to 11 damage counters on it, doing 550 damage. And with weakness, that can hit for a lot more. Uh, we also run two Tauruses, just in case... For uh, stalling purposes, to start out, to get the Mew and Shininja set up on the bench. Taurus can stall in the active, then you can hit back, and it's really an all-around great card. And then, obviously, for consistency, one Shebe and one Tapu Lele GX. And to stop stuff like uh, Umbreon, I, Umbreon decks from hitting the bench and, and Landorus decks, because that's a big thing in Expanded. Uh, there's Mr. Mime, Bench Barrier, prevent all damage done to your bench Pokemon by attacks. This will stop the, this will stop the Shininja with its low health being sniped off the bench. You are going to have to force your opponent to play a Lysander, which is a really waste of a supporter. Especially for getting just one prize from the Shininja. Uh, As for trainers... We run some of the new stuff, you know, we got Field Blower from Guardians Rising. We run two of those. And the new Choice Band from Guardians Rising, so that can hit for 30 more damage on the EXs or GXs. And then a lot of the consistency things too, you know, four Sigmores, three Ns, two Lysies. And then we just we chose to run two Coal Reses in this deck. Because your bench space is going to be full almost all the time, except for maybe turn one. And then your opponent will always have a few benches too so you can shuffle in and draw eight that's more than discarding and drawing seven from sycamore okay and then we ran one deli to discard the stadium and uh, discard three cards from their hand which and, can really mess up your opponent and one az to uh pick up shamans or lilies or just anything else that's in the way i've also used az to scoop up mew with 110 damage on it who's gonna get knocked out next turn then you play the Mew again, so you're saved from being KO'd. And then we have our Nest Ball to get out basics, and our Ultra Ball just to search for anything we need. And then you have your four, four males to find your trainers. For consistency. Via Seekers, you know, consistency, getting trainers out of the discard. And then another main part of the deck, we have our Frozen Cities, which, uh, when you, uh, which is a stadium, and then when you attach an energy to your Pokemon, uh, it does, you put two damage counters on it, which guarantees the Mew is able to hit for at least 100 damage if there's a Shed Ninja on the bench. Which this can be powered up further and more reasons we'll explain. But also with the Frozen City, it's whenever any player attaches an energy. So if your opponent takes damage from this too, say you're playing a deck like Mega Mewtwo, your Mew's going to need to have two damage counters on it, well three damage counters on it, to hit for the 210 to knock out. But the Mewtwo, if they attach an energy, then Mew can hit two damage counters and knock out that Mewtwo. Because due to weakness, they can hit for 200, and Mega Mewtwo would only have 190 if they attach an energy. Yes, and uh, this does. This is from your hand onto your Pokemon. Max Elixirs can go through this, as well as Aqua Patches, Dark Patches, stuff like that. And then two Float Stones, just in case. Use up Toro stuck in the active, or Shaman or Lele that you don't want mm -hmm. to be in the active. And they can also be put on Mew in desperate situations. And then we run two DCEs for Tauros or just anyone else who really needs it. And then we run four Rainbow Energies because this also puts a one damage counter on your Pokemon. So when you play the Rainbow Energy from your hand on to one of your Pokemon, it puts one damage counter. Well, if you pair that with the Frozen City, it puts three damage counters on. 
this lets Mew in one energy attachment hit for 150, which is great. And then just three grass energies. Because sometimes Shininja, he's just all around good. Cursed Rain can actually be helpful. You can Cursed Rain into your Taurus with a float, and you'll be, it's like, um, Dawn Fan, sort of. And you can just hide behind the Taurus. Yeah. So. We're going to be showcasing this deck in three matches for you today, and hopefully we'll get some good ones. There we go. So we want to, our main starter would either want to be Taurus or Mew, just for the fact that those two can actually hit for something. Uh, and on turn one, we want to get that Ninkata out, so turn two we can hit Shin Ninja, then we can go and attack. Alright, we want to go first. Yes, Mew Shin Ninja always loves to go first. Okay. So we're going to be starting out with a Taurus, and we'll want to bench the Ninkata just so we can Shin Ninja next turn. Um, we're probably going to want to just end right off the way. We might attach an energy. Probably want to find a DCE. Yeah, you normally want to attach a DCE. We just want to end um, straight off. Yeah, just this is a really bad hand, so we just want to end. Not a good starting hand. But then we hopefully we'd pull into some kind of Mew or... And no energy at all. This is okay, though. You can throw the Frozen City. And then... Choice. Uh, Don't... Not Taurus, because you got to save the float for him. Uh, and then we do nothing. Yeah, else. nothing. Because we don't want that Taurus on the bench. We've got to have one. We don't, we don't need a lot of bench space for this deck. Yeah, so you can pass. This is not the ideal start for Mew Shin Ninja. Normally, there's a... Energy, at least. Yeah, there's <laughs> normally energy of Mew, a Shea on the bench. A lot happens in the sky left, so mm -hmm. we got to play the sky... We got... Oh, Fairy Garden. Garden. I and, wonder if they're playing um And we got Geomancy Zarnia, so they're playing Guardi. I bet they're playing Gardevoir. Mega Gardevoir. Or Sylveon Stall. Oh. oh, Florges. Oh, we're expanded. This is Florges. Bright Garden. Number of grass and uh, fairies you have in play. 20 times. So they Geomancy, and it looks like they're stuck. So although... Oh, let's we, throw the flow. We don't have any frozen cities. Although we but might not fine. want to, we can, we're going to have to end... And you don't want to have two Tauruses in play, you normally want to have one. Hey, Shed Ninja. Okay, um... And then we're going to have to... Field Blower away the Fairy Garden. And the Hard Charm. Yeah, and the Hard Charm. Then, this is just sets us up so we can Shebe for three. Then and maybe we can land something good. Because right now it's not looking the best. We need an Energy. We're looking for a DC. Or a Mew. And no. Not that. Mm -mm. So I guess we We're pass. We're going to have to end again next turn. Yeah. At least we have a Via Secret hit for the end. Yeah. Let's hope, hopefully what we top we deck have? something. Yeah, I hope we top deck something. We just have two ends, a Frozen City, and a Field Blower. Fury Belt on That's the floor. That's 200 HP on the floor just now. Exactly 200? Yeah. The good thing about that is... We can just hit four damage counter now. We can hit for here. exactly enough. That's two attachments of a... Energies. Or one energies. Rainbow Energy and then... And we have 250 if we attach another normal energy. Yeah. With Frozen City out, that is. It's even. No, that's just weird. I've never seen this deck before. So they are going to Geomancy, and one will go on the floor just. I doubt they'll give any to Shea, man. I don't know why it went on the floor just, just because. He only the, needs two energies. Yeah, he only needs two energies. Well, we don't even need a VS Seeker for an end. Yeah, just, just play in. Don't AZ. Okay, I was That's... thinking about it. We need to go Shaman back, and then we could have shuffled them in next turn, but then we need to really need to get something started. Yeah, okay, Ultra Ball. No energies. You know, Ultra Ball is something good, though. We'll give us a Mew, and then we can Sycamore next turn. Let's see, let's Ultra Ball away. A VS Seeker and the other Ninkata. I was thinking Lysander and Ninkata. Okay. Just so uh, we can VS Seeker for Lysander if needed. And we'll grab a Mew. And then we'll place him on the bench. I wonder how many energy is prized. We haven't... We hit two at the beginning, we but no Frozen City. Yet. Let's just... Pass. Yeah. They even have an energy on Shaman. 
I mean, it is Guardians. It's Guardians and Gorgeous. Yep. And Hoopa. They must they must have Skyfield too. They're, they're Oh yeah, they could be looking have... for more EXs with I guess they could be looking for Mega Guard too. Yeah, if they pulled out one Mega Gardevoir and then well, two Mega Gardevoirs and Yeah, yeah. Gardevoir and two Mega Gardevoirs. Ooh, they got so that's the so generations one. They might have the links in their hand. Hopefully not though. Yeah. They're gonna keep Geomancy in. Yeah. They did not play the links, so they're not gonna be a uh, Mega's next turn. Lower target. Okay, we're gonna Frozen City. And then Sycamore and or be a Seeker for Hen. Sycamore. We need to get that extra card. Alright, we'll both of those. We could have we could have end away their Mega Guard bars though. And then we can get the Troy Fan to the Mew. Yep. And we have the DCE to Toro so we can start doing things. <laughs> yep. Then uh, the other Mew, on, Mew the on the bench. Then we can. We do don't, we want to Ultra Ball this time? We don't need Lele at the moment. We can Ultra. Well, we have the Seeker if we need to grab something. Yeah, we don't really need anything right now. We can start and Horn Attacking though. Uh, Horn Attack is a 3 hit knockout on this thing. It's 130. Well, well let's Horn Attack anyway. So now you can see the Frozen City coming into help. And he's not going to do much. He's going to Geomancy again. Which means their hand must be a little bit dead. And he's not putting any damage on us so we can't raid draw a Mad Bolt for anything. Well, we can give an energy to the Mew here on the bench. And then we could, we could Lacey up something, but I don't think we want to do that right now because because those Gardevoirs are looking scary. Can they knock us out? No, they cannot knock us out in one turn. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna lacy up this Gardevoir so we can't Geomancy anymore. And I'm gonna Horn Attack this thing. Put him at 80 damage, so he only has 90 HP left. I'm gonna flash another energy. And that will give him 100 due to the 20 damage from Frozen City. And he's just going to retreat back into the Xerneas. Okay. And he's Mega Evolved on the bench, so he will not attack. And we have a great support here. That's Cole Rez for 9. Cole Rez for 9 is always nice. You get a shuffle and you get to save all your cards. Well, let's leave that last bench spot open for another... Uh, sh sh Lele, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Tapu Lele. And then let's ramble energy to that Mew. And so give him this choice band also. The Mew can hit for 150 plus another 30 if it's against an EX or GX. I like Sandered up at the Gardevoir, but he didn't. Uh, they he retreated back. Uh, Whoops. Okay. Um, so then there's a Xerneas up here, and I think we're just going to have to rage again. There's not really much we can do. It's sort of sad. I mean, not rage, horn attack. We'll get the knockout of Xerneas next turn. So let's see what our opponent will do. We are going to Mega Evolve, well, and that passes their, their turn. Their turn. Uh, those Megas are going to come out next turn, and they're going to oh, start hitting. Let's mail first. If it's something we don't like, we can use it as an Ultra Ball. Uh, we probably want to grab a Float. Put on Shaman or Shed Ninja? Shed Ninja, I think. You don't want him up there. Yeah, you definitely don't want your Shininja up there. And then we can... You probably want to attach to one of the Mew on the bench. The Mega Gardevoir have... 210 HP, but 110 left. That's a knockout. Then 210. How much can he hit for with a Brilliant Arrow? 30 times. Uh, energy one, in the field. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, Enough 10, for 11. a knockout. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 330. So we probably want a Lysander up one. But we don't have a Lysander or a Seeker. So we might want to leave the Tauros up there for now. And yeah, not... we'd want to leave up the Tauros, but attach to energy. Then Choice Bane will hit for a knockout on any Gardevoir. Yeah. We just gotta leave the Tauros up there so it can stall for some time. And let's just take the knockout on the Xerneas. Yes. Now we need a 
some kind of supporter for a Lysander. I'm take our first prize here. Cole Rez. Cole Rez. The perfect prize to grab, especially when all benches are, almost all benches are full. Uh, we can chorus for eight, unless we play something now, then we can chorus one more. Oh, so yeah. they did a brilliant arrow for the <laughs> knockout. And do we bring it? Yeah, we can kill this with a Mew because he left us. So then he's going to kill us with that Gardevoir, and then we can kill it with that Mew. It's going to be the... Uh, that It'll work out. And then we'll probably want to bench the Mew. And then Colrez? Yes, and Colrez. And they and conceded. They conceded, so we took the victory in match number one. Hopefully we can get a longer one that we can actually finish next time around. <laughs> 50 coins 50 there. coins, that isn't that bad. Although that was a little bit slow match, Mew Ninja can set up a lot faster. This is one of the uh, worst examples of the Mew Ninja deck we've shown. So. We now have enough coins for the Latios, Latias, Heart Gold, Soul Silver. Yeah, good 700. Worst we're, thing. we're 100 short, but <laughs> Whoops. we're going to get it in this video. So. And then we'll, we can open it up at the end for you if we get it. Should we do another versus match? Yeah. Okay. You're already on. I'm already on versus. <laughs> so we're versing a many type deck. It looked like Seal, Psychic, Water, Normal. Heads or tails? Oh, let's go heads. But tails never fails. Fine, tails. I choose tails. That could be Mega Scissors. Uh, Damn. Mega Scissors, Octillery, whatever is Psychic. I just faced Mega Scissor a couple matches ago before we started the video. So we'll want to start with Taurus again. Yep. We do not have any ECEs, but we do have a Rainbow Energy. We can Ultra Ball for a Mew, then we'll Sycamore away everything. Including Shave. Ooh, no. We'll Ultra Ball, then we'll Shay, then we can Sycamore. Okay. So this is a pretty good opening hand right here. Not great, but it's fine. Whenever you get a VS Seeker in your opening hand. Yeah. You don't want to discard the Seeker, but it looks like we're going to have to. And we do not want to start with Shaman on the bench. And it's Sogaleo Metagross. Oh! In the expanded format. We want to Ultra Ball for an Encada, not a Mew, because we already have a Mew. Yep, because we top deck. What are we so, going to get rid of? Let's see what we hit from the mail first. We can just Nest Ball for an Encada. We don't yes. need Ultra Ball for it. This is our one Nest Ball coming in clutch. Bam. And, and then. We should Shaman or... No, you want to Ultra Ball away Seeker and either Sycamore or Rainbow Energy. We'll probably draw into a supporter, right? Hopefully. If we Shaman. What are we going to Ultra Ball for? Another Mew. We want to get the Shaman so we don't Shaman for two, we can Shaman for a lot more. Then we'll want to grab another Mew, probably. Finish that. We can hit for weakness on the Cosmo, but not on Silver Lay once it evolves. Then if we do hit the Frozen City from Shaman, we can attach to one of the Mews, and then we, with the Rainbow Energy, then we'll get three damage counters on. And we do hit the Frozen City. And then we have our Sycamore on the discard, and we can VS Seeker for it yes. if we have to. And that's Rainbow Energy on one of the Mews. And then... VS Seeker for Sycamore. You want to use it this time? We should show the full potential of our deck, so let's try to go fast. Okay. Rip to that rainbow energy and one of our three grass energies. We do have two DCs still powered up, though. So from here, we are, we'll Ultra Ball for away um, AZ so we can via Seeker for him back in the discard. And a Ninkata because we already have one out. And here we're going to grab a Sheninja for next turn. And I think from here... We pass. We should pass because if they delinquent us, we can discard Fuel Blower Ultra Ball via Seeker so we can keep Sheninja in a vault. Then we'll play end next turn. Okay, so let's pass. Yep, that was, that was a good turn. That was turn one. Yeah. So it looks like there might be 
as the two stage two decks, they could get a little stuck. Yeah. Hopefully that's the case. They professor lettered for two steel energy. And they're gonna ultra ball. I bet they're gonna ultra ball away the two energy that they got the letter from. Oh no, only one. And a rare candy. Is that, is that what they lost? Yeah, that was a rare candy. Huh. That's a weird thing before. For ours. Hoopa. Then they're playing EXs too. Are that's playing weird. Si is there a sizer here? Or are they just Hoopa for a Shaman? But they could have just taken a Shaman off the ultra ball. I'm not they're, sure what they're doing. Are they playing Magyarna? <laughs> are they playing Magyarna? Oh, they could be playing Magyarna. Aegis oh. Slash, Shaman, and Keldeo. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's see, what does the Aegis Slash do? Prevent all damage on this Pokemon by attacks from each of your opponents. So our special energy, our rainbow energy Muse can't hurt it. And a DC, it's also a DCE can't hurt it. So we have to rely on grass energies and we already got rid of one of them. But we still can have two to power up the Mew and... Right. Let's see, unless... Okay. Oh, they're going to Lysander. Lysander. Have they supported yet? Mm, no. I'm going to rush in. Yeah. I wonder if they have a float. On... Oh, no, they don't. It's still okay. better than a Nebby getting knocked out. So you're going to go into the Sheninja. We're just going to end. Yeah, we don't want to Ultra Ball for anything. We want to save that last space for Lele. And then we don't want to delink one because we don't want to get rid of our own stadium. Yeah. So we did not hit any energy, sadly, but... We did have Flow Sound, we can move Tauros out, and we can take the knockout and kill the other. No, we cannot. No. We can only do one if we hit a choice band with the mail. And we do. We do. So we will we be able to take the knockout. So and this Russian Keldeo is annoying, so we can't... <laughs> it's a Russian Keldeo. Anyways. The ability rush in. <laughs> and then we can take it out with a hopeless scream. And that's all we want to do, right? Yep. That is 180. What's really nice though is you can use, since there's rainbow energy, we can use about every attack in play. I mean, with it, within and reason. And we brought back Bench Barrier Mime for this deck that doesn't need it. <laughs> Bench Barrier Mime's only and useful. And here's Age Slash. Oh boy. Let's see, what is the attack? It's like, it's 40 plus 20 more for each steel. So he has three steals on there. It'll do 100. Okay. So and we can't hurt him. He if we hit a grass energy onto the Mew, then a choice band, we will be able to hit for knockout. That is true. So we do run two choice bands, I believe, and none are discarded. That's not a choice band. <laughs> I see that. Can uh, I just whip it? Or should I pull something? We don't have a supporter, but we do have via seeker. I can pull a flow that can be useful. Yeah, you could flow onto Sheninja, I guess. Or Shaman? Mm, your choice. Sheninja's more important. Okay. Then... We need a Seeker for a... N? They or Sycamore. Have... We do have one more Mew in there somewhere. Yeah, let's Seeker for a Sycamore. Because we want to get the seven cards just so we have the extra chance of hitting both the cards we need. Oh, it is going to be hard, but... I feel like we can do it. A grass energy and a choice band. There's a choice and, and no hit, grass. Hit all special energies. So Let's this see. Mew is going to have to go down. This Mew... If he has an energy next turn, he's going, it's going down. We can Cursed Rain. That's placement of damage counters. I do not believe... Well, no, we can't. I don't think we can hurt him, but we can get 10 can damage on everyone else. On all the benches, which that can be helpful. Or is there anything else that any of their Pokemon can do? We can dust gathering if we felt like it. I don't think we need to draw into a card. We have cold resonance. Crushed rain could help because we can do knock out a shaman of a hundred. Exactly. Hundred ten. Let's just do curse that. rain into the Taurus with a float. So then next turn we can float back into whatever we want. Yeah. And this does go through because the uh, and he won't be able to knock out the Taurus if he decides to attack. We can attach. It. Nope, they can't attach DC to the Taurus. It can't do damage to a age slash. We can lightly up something else though and bring that Mew back out and take two more prizes for knocking out a Shaman or a Hoopa. Yeah, we do have a Lycee in hand. Uh, no, we can't knock out Hoopa. But we, we can have, we have a choice band. Oh yeah. A choice band helps everything. We can knock out Hoopa or we can knock out the Shaman. Or we can take Bronze on because Bronze on sorta of helps. Oh no, oh, they can see it again. Perfect. Another win. 
I'll tell you, pull something good, and it's 25, 25 points. points. And we did it. We got the Mudkip Marsh Top Swampert. It's the Ancient Trade Swampert also, which is cool. Alright, let's get into another match here. Yeah. You guys haven't even seen the full potential of the Hopeless Scream yet. <laughs> it can really get up there, especially when you have... Against Psychic Pokemon, and then you have 11 damage counters on, and you have the 1,100 with the Hopeless Scream. Ooh, are we reversing a Water Toolbox? Ooh, I don't like Water Toolboxes. I don't Man think I've ever reversed a one Man before. Manaphys and Palkias. I think it'd be Prime Arena Water Toolbox or Lapras, Lapras Water Toolbox. Oh, we did win those. We would like to go first. We won the play football three times. Lapras with a Fury Belt can be hit with... Oh, and we are going to start with an Ninkata. Oh, boy. But we do have Mail to hit something. Let's give the Ninkata the Choice Band. <laughs> or maybe we could just not. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, what's up, dude? Oh, Reg Ice. Yuck. Okay. I mean, can't be hit by EXs, right? And yeah. he gets the... Resistance Blizzard going. So I wonder what deck this is. Uh, it's an expanded water toolbox. Frozen City, I, yeah. Yeah, we don't have one, so we might as well. Then we'll play the Frozen City. And then we end. I guess we end, yeah. <laughs> Hate to do it with this many cards, but... Lele. They're all the Pokemon we pulled. All support is in a Lele. Nothing playable. This turn. We're going Actually. To have he can't hit for the knockout, thankfully. So, we're gonna just pass. Yeah, pass. <laughs> just kidding, I take back that heart. <laughs> See, hopefully we end them into a really bad hand. They're not doing much right now, but they probably got some. I wonder what deck would be paired with... No, that's oh. it. Nothing happened. I'm okay with that. Do we just end again? We just end again. Let's call res for nothing. I don't think we should call res for nothing. A, a Tauros, and a Mew, and a Shebe, and a Floatstone. Okay. We're all good. So we probably want to float on the Nakata, bench Mew, bench Tauros. Yeah. That just happened. Oh, it's a pretty good hand. Then we can attach the choice onto Mew. We gotta get him before he gets three energies, or a water energy with DCE. Well... So we need to find some energy next turn. Retreat into the Mew. I mean, uh, Ultra so Ball for Sheninja. Get rid of... Mm. We don't have a Seeker in hand. Lysi and Blower. So then we can AZ for a Shade next turn. Oh yeah, that's smart. And then we can evolve the shed into this turn. Yes. And but we cannot hit for any damage. Yeah, we It'll don't. We pass. Nope. Not the cop We pass. So let's hope this our opponent doesn't bench anything because then we can AZ for a Shaman. Good thing we didn't ultra ball away that Frozen City. Yeah, we can Frozen City. With always running Sushi Master. We got Pillory and Glaceon for Evolution Pokemon. Good thing this is no Evolution Pokemon. Oh, I got Shin Ninja, but you don't want to be not gonna attacking with Shin Ninja. We can AZ for that Shay Bay. Yeah, well, then we're going to AZ for Shay Man. And then, then Shay Bay again for six. For all six. And we get a. We got to check in on our monsters lately. <laughs> this is a shared iPad, so. Whoops. We'll attach the Rainbow Energy, so we will be able to hit for the knockout. Which is good. We probably want to mail, maybe look for another tool on the benched Mew. Choice band would be nice. And a VS Seeker. Which I, we should obviously get a roll Ultra Ball. What do we have in our hand? Cole Res, Cole Res. City, and Sycamore, so. Take a VS. Eh, Ultra, Ultra Ball. Ball, yeah. Okay. We yeah, already we have could... both Ultra Balls in our hand, though. We'll lean Ultra Ball away and Ultra Ball and. We can hit for 150, though, with the help of Scream. We can knock out this Red Ice, so we yep. can't. Deny us any damage. And that Glaceon doesn't help much for them. Especially if he attacks us with the Glaceon, because we'll live with uh, 20 health and we can hit for a lot. And we did draw into an energy, which is nice, so we can attach that to the bench, because the active will be able to hit enough for knockout. 
Oh yeah, with Troy Spann. Yep. No, we won't. Oh, now we will, especially. Now we will without We will without Troy, Troy Spann. Oh no, he's gonna cast away on us. <laughs> and <laughs> Prevent Shin Ninja from attacking. And another... Because Frost. we have another Frozen City in our hand. Have another Froyo in hand. Okay, so... It's called Froyo. Okay. And then we need to... We have for 180 with the Choice Band, so we will get a one-hit knockout, no matter what he does. And then poor little Sushi Master on the bench there isn't going to live very long either. Is he abyssal-handed yet? Cause he yeah, he can, just did. Okay, I'll make sure I don't think he can draw one card. Yeah, he... Oh, Ooh, escape rope. rope. We'll uh, rope into the Shed Ninja with a... Nope. No. Nope, yeah, he'll go only to Sushi Master. We can't die. Uh, let's go into... Yeah, I guess, yeah. Okay, hopefully the Shed Ninja doesn't get killed. Okay, so it's our turn now. Let's attach an energy to the bench from you and put our Frozen City back up. Oh, I should have put the Frozen City down before I attached the energy. Shoot. Okay. So I think we are going to just Cole Res because that would be the smartest choice right now. Cole Res for five. It's one of the smaller Cole Reses we've seen. But... And then we do have energies for next turn because I accidentally attached that grass energy before putting down the Frozen City. Oh, yeah. And let's retreat the Shen Ninja back into this Mew. And we'll take the knockout on Octillery. So no more Abyssal Hands for the Sushi Master. Shout out to Dark Anna Girl. We do draw into an Ultra Ball, so if we need to bench another Mew, we can. We got it pretty covered. We definitely got the win here, but he doesn't bench anything. Yeah. And no more Frozen City again. How many Frozen Cities do we have in this Three. Group? Three. So, we do run four Frozen Cities. We so. set up super fast without running through a lot. 28, uh, okay, it's over. You know what, I, I want to hit for more damage, though. Okay, let's help a scream, scream for 230. 230. Oh, yeah, and plus 230. 230 for the choice band. And we'll take the victory in all three of our matches. Yeah, that was Pretty nice. solid. Shows you what Miyushin Ninja can really do. That one was a better example of that. And we'll get another present. And it's three tournament tickets. So although we did not get enough coins <laughs> to open up the... Uh, the Latios and Latias thing. Uh, next video we should be able to. And that is it. This has been Bulbasaur Bros TCG signing off.